from Darrell McPherson. I've been using browseware for about three years now and I come from a pattern making background and a technical design background and I have experience of about over 20 years uh, in making patterns and doing fittings and uh, browseware was a very refreshing software to start using. I uh, chose this tip to really showcase how browseware can transform the swimwear garment into looking like uh, actual swimwear on the body. That means the compression, that means the shape, the form uh, of, the, of the body type that is used for swim and creating body landmarks, uh, which is also helpful for getting the fit accurate. So I go over um, force multiplier, and shrink, as well as creating a swimwear body and body landmarks in browseware. In creating swimwear in browseware, it's important to achieve swimwear body type shape. Using the parametric avatar, you're able to create swim proportions for the body in regards to a wider hip base, a longer or shorter torso, and also an increased bust to under bust circumference. You're also able to adjust the crotch width, which is also helpful for simulation in swimwear. It's important to keep the underbust and bust ratio with a five inch difference. Another way to enhance your swimwear renders in browseware is to create body landmarks. Body landmarks are often used in the industry for swim to create fit consistency and to create a consistency for garment looks and presentation. Creating body landmarks allows the designer to achieve the correct expression of fit, and also the technical designer, pattern maker, are also aware of where these body landmarks should land in creating 3D garments. You can create circumference, surface, and other measurements that will tell you where the torso, hip, and leg should lie. With the 3D measurement tool, you can add as many body landmarks as you need for your design. You can hide them and unhide them so that you can get and achieve the correct pattern shape for your swimwear. Once you've draped your garment and you're aware of all your body landmark needs that your designer has dictated to you, you can check your grid and check for the opportunities to create a better shape uh, to meet your body landmarks. What you can also see is where you want to place your shrink and your force multiplier. Usually a shrink of 15% and a force multiplier of four is suitable for a swimwear garment. Using force multiplier and shrink together act as the garment rubber would act in a 3D simulation. A smooth curve can be achieved using more fit points on the leg shape. You can also see where you need to drop down or increase the side seam to create a better, closer fit for your body landmarks. Once you've added your shrink and force multiplier, you can then increase your grid in order to get a better, tighter, smoother simulation. If you are not pleased with just the beginning force multiplier that you're adding, you can also increase it at the leg. But once you have it, you can see that it's the correct width for your rubber measurement that you're using in your garment. And you can check all of the places that your intended cinching or your intended grip on your garment should be. In order to smooth out the crotch, you can also use a little more force multiplier in order to grip the 3D avatar a little bit better. As you can see, increasing the force multiplier on the edge of the garment will create a bigger tension in the map. Thank you for watching those tips. I hope this enables you to get better render quality from your swimwear garments, better fit, and better proportions when using the swimwear body and browser.